Take a deep breath. <laughs> and another. All the oxygen for that second breath was produced by our oceans. The same oceans are often mistreated and heavily exploited by people for food and resources. How do we protect this incredibly important environment? One way is through ambassador species. These are well-loved species, like dolphins, that people want to protect. And by protecting them, we protect all other species that share their environment. But how do we study the animals that spend the majority of their lives underwater, away from our eyes? The answer lies in acoustics, the study of sound. Dolphins almost constantly produce sound, be it for social communication, hunting, or navigation. And we use special underwater microphones, called hydrophones, to capture and record their sounds. But the sound we record underwater does not only contain dolphin vocalizations. It contains all sorts of other noises. Traditionally, there would be an acoustician, a trained person, listening and looking at the visual representation of sound to separate the overlapping vocalizations from the noise. But today's technology enables us to collect enormous quantities of data, and so it is not possible for a human alone to analyze it all. Therefore, we need an automated system to recognize dolphin vocalizations for us. This is where my research comes in. We developed a computer program to detect, for the first time, multiple dolphin whistles simultaneously, automatically, and in real time. It's like identifying and tracking the sound of every string in an orchestra, or separating out every strand in a river of spaghetti. You may wonder, what's the use of this? Basically, detection and extraction of dolphin whistles is a key and first step for many applications, such as behavioral studies, species presence and distribution estimation, and also protecting these species during industrial activities that can harm them. And so, we can say that detection is also a crucial step in protecting these animals, and through them, protecting the whole environment in which they live and we so heavily rely on. Thank you. <laughs>